10 years ago, I got my first CGM. It was big and clunky. It required multiple calibrations a day, but it paved the way to the amazing technology I'm gonna go over today. I got my hands on a Dexcom G7 and a Freestyle Libre 3. And in this video, I'm going to go over every detail you need to know. Accuracy, size, software, warm up time, sensor expiration, adhesive. I even measured the Bluetooth range of each CGM with a tape measure. So stay tuned to get all of the info you need to help you decide which CGM is best for you. All right, so let's get right into it and take a look at what these devices look like. So the boxes for both the G7 and the Freestyle Libre 3 are much smaller than their predecessors, the Libre 2 and Dexcom G6, as we can see here. Compared to each other, they're both very small and very similar in size. And as far as the contents, there are some similarities and some differences. As you can see, both boxes include the applicator, as well as the usual instructions and safety info. But Dexcom G7 has an added bonus that's not included with the Libre 3. And that's this nice overlay patch to keep the sensor from falling off. Now, as far as putting them on, both are extremely easy and both have improvements compared to their predecessors. The Libre 3 applicator is much smaller. And now rather than being in two separate pieces that need to be assembled, like in the Libre 2, it comes pre-assembled in one simple one piece applicator. To apply it, all you do is unscrew the cap clean the arm with a bit of alcohol, then push down on the applicator and you're done. Super easy. And the Dexcom G7 has a similar application process. Unscrew the top, clean the arm. The only difference with the Dexcom is instead of simply pushing down on the top, it also requires depressing a little white button on the side. This is much easier than the G6 that required a separate transmitter to be applied. Now, once it's on the arm, both CGMs have a different way to link the sensor to either your reader or your phone. The Libre CGM requires a quick scan to activate the sensor, very simple process, and the Dexcom G7, rather than scanning, just requires a quick four digit code to be put into the phone to link it. One important upgrade with the Dexcom is that the CGM automatically starts its warm up process once it's placed on the arm. That's because there's magnets inside the sensor and the applicator, and once these magnets are no longer in contact, the sensor automatically begins the warm up countdown. All right, let's talk about the size next because both of these sensors are very, very small and certainly much smaller than their previous models. And to get an idea of just how much smaller, I did a quick comparison of each, the Libre 3 next to the Libre 2, the Dexcom G7 next to the Dexcom G6. And then most importantly, I did a side-by-side -side comparison of the Libre 3 next to the G7. And while they're both very, very small and certainly much smaller than the predecessors, we can see the Libre 3 is a bit smaller than the Dexcom G7. The G7 is just a bit thicker and wider than the Libre 3 by comparison. I can safely say though, whether we're talking about the G7 or the Freestyle Libre 3, they're both so small that after a few hours, I forgot I was even wearing them. What about the adhesive? This is another important area for all CGMs. Starting with the Libre 3, it appears in an attempt to keep the Libre 3 very small and thin, they also opted to keep the adhesive on the small side. It's fairly thin and not very wide. The consistency is more paper-like rather than a cloth material. The Dexcom, on the other hand, the adhesive is a bit thicker. It's more of a mesh type pattern, similar to what you would find in a Band-Aid, rather than the paper type material in the Libre. Adhesive did seem to work really well in both. And while I feel the Dexcom G7 adhesive is superior, I didn't experience any issues with either sensor falling off prematurely. Let's talk about warm up time next. The Libre sensor, just like its predecessor, requires 60 minutes before you can start using the CGM. The Dexcom G7, on the other hand, now has the fastest warm up time of any CGM, clocking in at less than 30 minutes. And due to the sensor automatically starting once it's placed on the arm, due to those magic magnets, I the time I put the sensor code in, the countdown was already down to just 22 minutes. All right, what about accuracy next? Obviously, this is a very important area for all CGMs. The Libre 3 CGM claims to have the most accurate CGM on the market with an MARD score of 7.9, while the Dexcom G7 is reported to have an MARD score of 8.2. So I did my best to test this out, and while I don't have a lab at home to do official testing, I compared each of the glucose levels from the CGM to my glucometer at home. I checked various times throughout the week. First was right after each sensor completed their warm up time to see what the accuracy was like early on. I also did a few random finger sticks throughout the week, both fasting and after meals. And by the end of the week, it appeared the Libre 3 was slightly more in line with my glucometer. Both CGMs though showed extremely good accuracy. And overall, I was really impressed with both. And again, this is by no means an official test. All right, what about the software running these CGMs? Let's first start with the Freestyle Libre 3. Now, if you've used the Freestyle Libre 2 or the Freestyle Libre 14 day, software is essentially unchanged with this new CGM. The only discernible difference I could find is the addition of a GMI tab. 
Now, this isn't necessarily a bad thing as the Libre software always had tons of data that you could access, daily patterns, time and range, low glucose events, average glucose levels, daily graph, but where the app is still lacking is in alarm flexibility. With the Libre 3 software, you don't have the ability to set different profiles for different times of the day. You don't have the ability to repeat alarms after a set period of time. Essentially, all you can do is set high and low alarms, and that's pretty much it. So this is one area where the Libre 3 software is lacking and where the Dexcom G7 software really shines. So let's talk about the Dexcom G7 software next. The software is completely revamped for the G7. You have Clarity data built right into the home screen. And while the app does not have quite as much data as the Libre 3, you can still access your time and range as well as your average glucose levels over set periods of time. For more info, you still have the ability to access the Clarity app. The game changer though for the Dexcom G7 software is with the alarms. You have so much freedom with the alarms with the G7 app. Not only can you access quiet mode, silencing all alarms for a set period of time, you have the ability to delay the first high alert, you can set different profiles for different times of the day, set alarms for rapidly rising glucose levels, rapidly dropping glucose levels. You also have tons of different options for alarm tones, including my favorite, the baby cry. <laughs> So lots of customizability on the new Dexcom G7 app. A few other minor software related areas to be aware of for each CGM. The Libre 3 sends a new glucose reading every one minute while the Dexcom G7 is limited to just every five minutes. G7 has a full fledged Apple Watch app allowing you to get continuous glucose levels sent to your watch. Libre 3, much like its predecessor, does not have a watch app available at this time. The Dexcom G7 has the ability to calibrate glucose levels, whereas the Libre 3 does not. And for those of you scuba divers out there, Dexcom G7 is waterproof in eight feet of water for up to 24 hours, compared to the Libre 3 at three feet of water for a maximum of 30 minutes. Next, I wanted to talk about the Bluetooth ranges for these. So how far can you walk away from your phone or your reader until you get the dreaded sensor out of range alarm? I found that the Libre sensor with no obstructions outdoors was able to walk a little over 30 feet away from my phone before it lost its connection, whereas the Dexcom G7 lost connectivity at about 24 feet. This is very similar to the reported Bluetooth range listed on the official websites for both companies. Next, let's talk about sensor expiration. How long can you wear these CGMs until they reach the end of their lifespan? The Libre 3, just like its predecessor, lasts a total of 14 days, which is really nice. You get two full weeks out of the sensor. And the Dexcom G7 lasts a total of 10 and a half days. And half is because at the end of 10 days, it actually has a 12 hour grace period. This is something new with the G7 that allows the sensor to keep working for an additional 12 hours beyond the 10 day wear time. For those of you wearing an insulin pump, wanting to know which of these CGMs is going to be compatible with your pump, I have good news and some bad news. The Dexcom G7, just like its predecessor, the G7, G6 will be compatible with most popular insulin pumps like the Tandem T-Slim and the Omnipod 5. Although at the time of this recording, that's still a process with the FDA. So they're not available yet, but they will be sometime in the near future. Regarding the Freestyle Libre 3, up until recently, the Freestyle line of CGMs were not compatible with any insulin pumps, but they recently announced that the Freestyle Libre 3, as well as the Freestyle Libre 2, obtained FDA approval for use in insulin pumps. So whichever CGM you wind up using, you'll likely be able to use this with your insulin pump. It's just a matter of time to get approval for these devices. What about the cost for the Freestyle Libre 3 and the Dexcom G7? How much will you be paying for this fancy cutting edge technology? This is a difficult one as cost is really determined by your insurance, the region you're obtaining these in. But Abbott states on its website that most commercially insured patients will usually spend a max of 75 per month. And a quick search on GoodRx had the Libre 3 listed at a low price of 71.44. Dexcom G7 also has a special pricing plan available for $89 a month and on GoodRx the lowest price found for the G7 was $67.22. Again this is just an idea of some of the prices but this is really going to vary depending on the type of insurance and the region you're purchasing these CGMs in. All right well I hope that was helpful. If you want more info about the Freestyle Libre 3 or Dexcom G7 check out these videos for full-length reviews.